You know what? I've seen enough. After everything I've seen in my weather past, I'm calling it. This has got to be the strongest and most devastating thing I've probably ever seen since Hurricane Irma. Yeah, you probably know where this is going. From what I've been looking at, we're not alone. There is something brewing overseas. And this is not going to be your average hurricane, trust me. After what I've been looking at, I am calling it. After Hurricane Irma and six years, I am announcing 2023's first Category 5. Yes, I said 5. This is going to be the first Category 5 in over six years. The reason I'm calling this, even though it... Oh, even though it's only a tropical depression yet, you're like, well, Liam, why the hell do you think it's a Category 5? It doesn't even say that yet. It only says it's going to be a, a strong 4. After looking at its wind status, this is the most horrific thing I've ever seen. Even after Hurricane Ian, he was a, str a powerful 4. He was 2 miles per hour away from being a weak 5. And I have not seen this on Ian, ever. See this discoloration? I was looking at that and going, that's not good, that can't be good. I looked at its wind status and found this. A hundred fucking miles per hour. On Hurricane Ian, the top wind speed I found in the core, like over here around the eye, I found about 80 miles per hour. 89, 90, but not 100. There was no discoloration over here. If you're going around the core, you're likely to be over 90 miles an hour to 100 miles an hour. Ian has never done that. When I was checking Hurricane Irma, this is exactly what she looked like. Same size, same discoloration over here. What I mean by that is the colors determine how fast the wind is going. The darker, the worse. Over here, it's minor. You know, it's minor over here, significant. Now we're in pink, it's starting to get pretty bad. Purple, terrible. You only see purple when it's either a strong three or a weak four. So no matter what, this is a four. But we've seen too many fours, lame. And then I realized, what is that? I've never seen that on a strong four. I gotta check this out. I look 100 miles an hour, what? You guys come to shock at this, but because you're probably like, Liam, that's probably lower than a four. That's probably a, a two. No, that's minimum wind. If, if the minimum wind at your point in time is 100 or lower, that's bad. Like really horrifically bad. Now I don't mean under 100 miles an hour, like 60 miles an hour. That's probably a category. You're probably looking at a category two. A hundred though, Jesus Christ. Trust me, there's something gonna happen. I see something horrific happening, and it's not good, and I'm requesting evacuations for these places. If it's either a strong four or a category five, I'm requesting evacuations. There's a 50-50 chance it could either shift and go our way, which is me, and then, or go up. Now, I'm doing evacuation watches for these places. One, Puerto Rico. Two, Florida. That's me. <sighs> At least I'm in Davenport. I'm in the center. If it goes up after it hits Florida, maybe, maybe Georgia. And after my reviews, I'm going to say possibly Louisiana. I know Louisiana still having flashbacks from Katrina, but this might, just might, come our way, your way. It's more likely to come to me than to come to Louisiana, all right? <laughs> I'm, terif I'm terrified. This is horrific and disgusting. Something bad's about to happen, I know it. I'm requesting evacuation watches for these places until I update you on Sunday on which path it's willing to choose. So for now, we're gonna call this, it hasn't named it yet, so for now we're gonna say Seth. Hurricane Seth, make your choice. On Sunday, I will give you the evacuation, I will give you the evacuation warnings, the orders, on which path it's willing to choose. Melbourne, if it comes near Florida, you're going to get an evacuation order. It's going to hit you directly. You're fucked, Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> you're not listening. <laughs> Fuck! But I wasn't lying. If it comes toward us, Florida, you're fucked, Melbourne. You're going to get hit directly with a five. Jesus fucking Christ. 
I feel bad for you because I've been to Melbourne so many times. People in Jacksonville, if it comes toward you, you're definitely going to get the inner band. I want to say middle bands of a five. Or outer bands of a four, if you get lucky. Remember, that's just if you get lucky. Well, we're talking about what would happen if it came our way. I would have to evacuate. I would have to take all my valuables and go stay somewhere else. So I'm praying it doesn't come toward us because I've never had to evacuate for a hurricane. Ever. Like, what do you do? Do you take your bed with you? Do you take your couch? Can I take my TV? Like, what? Or do we just leave everything behind just go, Come on, let's go! There's a hurricane coming in five days! <laughs> I might have just exaggerated just a little bit. But seriously, I've never evacuated for anything before. What would happen? Anyways, we're getting off topic. You're talking about yourself. I will initiate the evacuation orders and warnings for those who uh, for those who it's who Seth is coming right for them. It can either go up or over. It could go up like it's expecting or shift and go toward us. On Sunday, please check me because I will give you all the updates you need to know. Until then, Seth, make your choice.